cups to the floor They said it would get easier But I don't know who for Days move faster now I swear I can feel them slip away But some things last forever Happy Friday! Today's video is one that I've been looking forward to for a very long time because we are finally decorating our front room. This is a room whenever we tour this house that we're renting right now, we didn't really know what we were going to do because we already have a TV room. It's, this is just a separate space and I haven't really shared it much because for one, it has windows that show the front of our house. But I'm so excited. Aiden is working from home today. I've been waiting for a good moment to have him help me unbox everything, put everything together just because I can't really do a lot of heavy lifting right now. And so we're going to work on that today. We're going to do that later, probably around lunchtime when he has a lunch break from work. But until then, I'm going to have myself a little bit of a morning. We are going to go to a plant shop. I also want to stop by a couple of antique stores because I'm working on baby boy's nursery right now. Just want to see if we can find any kind of vintage decor pieces. So we're going to stop there. And then the plants are just for other places in our home that I'm looking for. So we'll stop by my favorite plant store, which is Rubles. They have amazing, amazing plants. And yeah, I'll probably take you guys through the rest of the weekend too. We have a fun weekend plan, definitely a lot going on. So it should be a fun vlog that I'm excited to see you guys along for. For the outfit, I'm wearing this dress that's actually from Amazon. I got this a while ago. It used to be too big for me, but now it is perfect because it fits the bump that is definitely growing a lot lately. I am 25 weeks tomorrow. We're really getting there and this is just comfy. It's gonna be another hot day. It's gonna be nice out, but it's definitely gonna be hot. So just threw this on. Always have to throw in a couple of good snacks, especially being pregnant. I still feel like I eat every couple of hours or so. I'm so excited too because we actually just got a Costco membership, which I feel like is just the place for snacks. And so that is another thing I would love to do this weekend, go set up our membership because I did everything online. I would like to do a little shopping trip there with Aiden if we can. I just got here. I'm going to Lula Bees in Dallas. And then there's also one called Benny Jack's nearby that I like to stop in. And then there's another one down the road. I like that these are all close to each other because they're the design district. And I think it's a little bit more of a grab bag, which is honestly my favorite when it comes to antiques. I like when they just have random stuff that you can really sift through and try to find the gem that you're looking for. I would say that these two are a bit more curated, but they still have really nice stuff too. So let's see if we can find anything. some great stuff so I'm so excited to share everything that I got the first thing was actually exactly what I was looking for I have had on my list to find some sort of vintage rocking horse which is a very specific item and sometimes especially when you're going to antique shops you're probably not gonna find exactly what you're looking for but this is the cutest vintage rocking horse for the baby's nursery and this one i just thought was so sweet and the best part about this was it was only 45 dollars. usually a piece like this would be more than that and it was also 20 percent off and so i was so excited when i found this that one i found at the north dallas antique mall and they had really great stuff that was definitely my favorite place it was the farthest away but i'm really glad i stopped there also found this model sailboat because we don't really have an exact theme for the nursery i know the colors that we're doing but i like the idea of bringing in some more nautical stuff just because that's kind of aiden's background and i thought that this would look really nice on a shelf somewhere in there so happy to find that and then at Lulabee's I found this little swan basket which I thought was so cute I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put this in the nursery I even thought that this would be cute sitting on the changing table and putting diapers and stuff in here too I just don't know how practical that is but 
I thought that this was a nice piece and that one was only $25. Also found these crochet coasters. I'm gonna put these in the front room. I love anything that's kind of crochet woven. So definitely gonna use these. And then at Benny Jack's, I got these dried florals. I'm gonna use to decorate in there on the coffee table because one of the vases I'm gonna use, you can't actually put water in it. And then as you can also see behind me, we got some plants. These are just for the house in general. I wanted to find some plant for the guest room because we have these really pretty shelves at the top of the windows. And this plant is a golden pothos. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And this is actually one that we have in another area of our house and it has just grown like a weed. It's so easy to take care of. If you're not great at taking care of plants, golden pothos are amazing. And I really like how it just trails down. So hopefully it'll do that on the shelf too. And then we also got another fiddle leaf tree. If you know, I used to have a giant one in our house or in our apartments back in the day, but it unfortunately is no longer with us. It was on its last leg. And so I did grab another one and I was so surprised. That one was $50, which I thought was a great price for a fiddle leaf tree. And we're just gonna put that in the front room. I'll probably put it in a basket or something just to add a little bit more life to that room. But we're gonna go ahead and put together the furniture. So I'm gonna change into something a little bit comfier and then we are going to set the room up. Okay, we just finished setting everything up and it looks so, so good. I wasn't quite sure how everything was gonna come together, but it all looks so, so great in here and it was so easy to piece everything together. I wanted to share some of the details on the actual furniture itself because all of it is from Castlery and I'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video. We actually already have some Castlery pieces in our home and our front kind of TV area. I knew that I really wanted to get furniture from them because there are many reasons one they're just beautiful pieces the specific furniture pieces that we got so we have the armchair i love the look of this it has just a really nice kind of walnut wood to it and really just soft cushions too and then this couch is the owen chase sectional and this is in the shade pearl beige too this is just the perfect size couch for this room specifically too because this room is definitely not a huge room but i knew we wanted to have some sort of couch in here because we do have a fireplace which is really nice and then the the rug is the Mark Oval Jute rug. And then for the coffee table, this is their Sebastian round coffee table. They also have one that's in a different shape, I believe, but we thought that the round would look nice here. And everything looks so great together. And better yet, everything was incredibly easy to assemble. Honestly, it doesn't even require that much assembly. Aiden basically did everything and unboxed it all and pieced it all together. I just put all the legs on most of the furniture pieces and it was super quick and easy to do. I actually did that part by myself very easily because I wanted to share that if you are living on your own that this is easy furniture to put together too and I actually mean that because I know a lot of people say that and it's not actually easy but it was super quick to put together and everything is just very sleek and modern but it still kind of has that contemporary and traditional look to it I'm a huge fan of just mixing a bunch of different pieces and so I think that it all just came together so nicely this couch is also so comfortable we're really excited to have this too so we can have someone sleep on here too whenever they come visit because we've had so many just guests come and even with the guest room it's nice just having an extra couch to 
too. I feel like there are so many places to sleep now. I will definitely link all the specific pieces that we got down below, but they have so many different furniture pieces on their website that are all just so stunning and beautiful. You can also get free fabric swatches of any of their fabrics. They have flat rate shipping. They have a 14 day return policy and they also have warranty coverage, which those are all just nice details to have, especially when you're ordering furniture. But yeah, I'm just so excited to finally have this room done. For the most part, there are a couple things I want to add on the walls, but besides that, love the furniture and everything in here. This room gets such beautiful light, especially in the morning. So I'm so excited to just enjoy morning coffee here and hang out in here, especially Christmas time. I think it'd be really nice having our Christmas tree up here because this is the room that's right in the front. And yeah, I'm just really excited to spend time here now because there is actually a living space. So I have all those links down below if you guys want to check them out, but feeling very accomplished having this room mostly done now. Here is the little overview. The only thing we're thinking of maybe adding over here would be some sort of bookshelf, just because we have a lot of books that we don't have space for. And I think that that would look really nice right there by the fiddle leaf tree. But besides that, I think it's the perfect amount of stuff. It's not too cluttered in here, but has just enough. I might also switch out the pillows too, because it is a little bit pink in here, but I think that that looks actually really nice with this painting over here, because you kind of have that salmon color right there. That's one of Aiden's dad's paintings that he did, so definitely wanted to hang that up, but especially with our fireplace over here too, I think it looks so nice. We also need to hang that painting right there, and then yeah, that's pretty much it for this room. I don't think we're gonna add too much. I just changed again into this giant sweatshirt because Aiden and I are having a very riveting Friday night of picking up some food and also I think going to Costco. And I always get really cold when I go in grocery stores. So I just threw this on. He is at the gym right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually fill out some of our baby book. I've showed this quite a few times in different vlogs and over on Instagram, but this is one of my favorite things to do. I love just lighting a candle and gradually filling this out throughout my pregnancy. It has different pages for pregnancy memories, has a baby shower page, it has a page for ultrasounds. That's mainly what I wanna update because we have some that we recently got. And then of course when baby comes, it just goes into his baby book for all of his milestones and everything. And it's so sweet. I've loved keeping up with this. I got this from Etsy. So I'll link it down below if you're interested. I also went and printed out these photos from our little baby moon that I wanted to add in. I only have a couple more pregnancy pages. And so I'm trying to save them. I know I want to do the nursery, the baby moon, and then I'm sure there'll be other little moments that I want to put in. And so I don't want to take up too much space, but I thought that these photos were just so cute. So we're going to figure out how to incorporate those in here. I'm really taking advantage of this right now because I know by the time we have our second child, am I really going to keep up with something like this? I definitely will keep up with the baby book for the second child, but I don't know if I'll keep up with all the pregnancy memories. And so really trying to take advantage of it right now. morning it is saturday morning we just had a nice slow morning walked and grabbed some coffee i actually went and grabbed a package too that was accidentally delivered to our old apartment building so it felt good getting that done and now i'm actually headed to a grand opening for a store it's called happy beauty co and it's in frisco aiden's coming with me because i'm actually shooting some content for them it's kind of like a little work gig but i'm excited to see the store too i think this is the first one they have close to Dallas-ish. I think they have one in Denton too, but they have a bunch of just cosmetics, makeup, that kind of stuff. So I just got ready. We actually need to leave soon. I'm running a little bit late this morning, but I'm just wearing this hair scarf that is from Kristen Made, which I don't think she sells these anymore, but really like it. And then this is the dress that I wore to our gender reveal. It's crazy because it used to be so loose on me and that wasn't even that long ago. And now I feel like it definitely fits over the bump 
a little bit tighter, but I think it's cute. I believe this is from Shopo. But yeah, we're about to head out. And then after this, we're gonna head over to my family's house because it's actually my niece's birthday today. So we're gonna have a little swim party for her. And my parents recently redid their pool, so we haven't swam in it yet. And I'm really excited. It's gonna be a nice afternoon. to go to the store opening it's a store called happy beauty co in frisco they sell a lot of just affordable makeup hair care skincare and it was so cute they had all these fun little things because it was the store opening day but we're back home just for a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and change into something to wear to the pool and get ready to go over to see the rest of my family too it's crazy how doing something just so small now already tires me out so much more than it used to i used to be able to do so much during the day but i'm like whoo even that alone just made me tired, but might lay down for a little bit, tidying up the house a bit because we have some things to put away. But besides that, excited to head to the pool soon. I'll share some of the things that I got at the store. I have not bought a new makeup palette in a while and I thought that this one looked so pretty. It's just a bunch of kind of nude rose gold shades, super pretty. I've also always wanted to try hair rollers. And so they had a couple sets of these. I think these were literally like $6 each or something. So I grabbed a couple of those just because my hair is pretty thick. Also got some cute hair scarves. I'm really excited to wear this one too, especially for the rest of the summer. Got some pretty nude lipstick shades. One of these is a gloss and one is like a liquid lipstick. Sadly, this blush did indeed break, but we have a really pretty natural blush and then Aiden and I share a brush so we literally just got another brush so we didn't have to share and then they had a bunch of really affordable makeup brushes so I grabbed one of these if you're in the Dallas area Happy Co Beauty they had really really great stuff they had so much stuff in stores so I definitely recommend just change I'm just gonna throw on a little cover-up over this but I wanted to share this one piece I got this at Target recently they are having like buy one, get one free when I was there. I think the vertical stripes too are just nice for accentuating the bump. Love the color, the little ties on it too. I'll link this down below. I feel like it might be on sale since it's kind of the end of the season now. I really like it if you're looking for kind of something a little bit more modest too. Even if you're not pregnant, I just sized up. This one is a medium and I think it's really cute. Sunday it is a slow Sunday morning we're over at my parents till about 11 o'clock last night so slept in this morning and we have church this morning but before then I don't know why I woke up craving an iced coffee with Starbucks cold foam on it and so I went and picked up this is a grande iced coffee and then I did light cinnamon cream cold brew I think that's my favorite or it's cinnamon sweet cream I'm pretty sure not cinnamon cream cold brew the cinnamon sweet cream cold foam I just did a light topping of that and it was really good it's like the perfect amount it's not too sweet because sometimes when they put a lot on it's just a bit too much and I love our new Starbucks location because they just always put the perfect amount of milk and things it's always the worst when you get your coffee back and it's fully milk and you can't even taste the coffee so that really hit the spot and then i also stopped by trader joe's because we have some flowers around the house that need a little bit of a refresh and i don't think i'm going to grocery shop today because i already have stuff that i want to make for dinner and so i just picked up a bunch of really pretty yellow flowers i'll probably just put these in water and then i'll arrange those after we get back from church because that always takes longer than i anticipate and then we also have some white roses too when my father-in-law was here he really put a lot of bouquets around the house but i just need to refresh those and take out all the dead flowers i also have so much mascara still under my eye that i need to scrub off you can tell i just woke up i grabbed some bananas a bunch of little greek yogurts because aiden's actually been eating these in the morning too it's usually just me but and then these i haven't had for a really long time i feel like the last time i had these was back in new york city they're part plum part apricots apricots i never know how i say 
apricot. I think I say apricot. <laughs> I think I say apricot. I grabbed some of these though because I really love plums, peaches. They just always sound good. And then I also just grabbed some peaches because I love having peaches in my Greek yogurt. My summer breakfast for the past three months has just been Greek yogurt, granola, bee pollen, honey, and a cut up peach. It's just so good. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk Mr. Cash because he has been so patient. And then we are gonna take a shower and get ready for church. Out there in the open, just a wishing and a hoping. I could smell the pines when I let you in the doorway. Took the seat next to mine like you've been there. Okay, I feel like I have not talked on here in quite a bit of time. It's Sunday evening pretty much now. I've just had a really chill afternoon. I'm trying to catch up on some work too, just because I have a busy day tomorrow with appointments. And so I wanted to be able to get ahead on some stuff. I forgot that I wanted to share an unboxing of just some of the baby items that I've received. Most of these things are not things that I received for PR or anything. I ordered a lot of these things. I also don't know why this lighting is making me look so red. I'm not even sunburned right now. I think it's just a little bit warm coming in here. The first thing is something that I actually went to put on my registry, but I realized that it's really hard to find. It's a changing table pad that you put on your changing table. Obviously, <laughs> my brain is so slow today. I'm sorry. And I really like the look of this one. And I've heard it's also just really easy to clean. It's comfortable. It's called Kikaroo. It's one of the peanut shaped ones, but they're so hard to find. I tried to find one on the website and I couldn't find one. I eventually just had to go to Walmart and I found it on Walmart, but it was more expensive too. So I just went ahead and ordered it in case it was something that was hard to find instead of putting it on the registry. But I think that this is a third party seller. So I'm not really sure the situation on this is gonna be, but Hopefully it's in good shape. Okay, nice. This looks legit. I am really excited to get things started in here. We did order the wallpaper for this wall. We're just doing a wall of stick and peel. I can't remember if I've said that in this vlog. I think I have, but we are gonna find our paint here soon too, but I wanna make sure it matches that. And so we have one trip next week and that's our last trip. And I'm really thankful it's our last trip. I'm ready to just be home. I feel like my life lately has just been work, 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 work. Trip, which I usually still record and try to get content because I really like to, I genuinely enjoy it. And then I get home and I feel behind and it's work, 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 and then I repeat the cycle and I'm just ready to be in a state where I can work during the week and then relax a little bit. It's just been a little bit chaotic lately, but back to what I started this clip for. <laughs> okay, here's what it looks like. It's really, really simple. It kind of looks like a inflatable mattress or something, but it's so soft. And I've just heard that this was something that was really worth it for a lot of moms. So yeah, I'll try to leak it if I can find it, but I think this should fit on our little changing table. I'll test it out here soon. Tomorrow, I also have my glucose test, which I'm not really nervous about. I'm doing an alternative test, so I don't have to take the really, really gross drink. I'm sure I'm still not gonna love the drink that I have because I don't love things with a ton of added sugar. These are two things that I shared on my Instagram story a while ago because I got them on Prime Day. I got our baby monitor. This is the Nanit Pro. I am still thinking of getting one that is portable that doesn't require Wi-Fi too, just to have for traveling. And I still am not totally sure how I feel about having a smart monitor, but I've heard really good things about this and I like that you can just install it on your wall. We'll see, I'll let you guys know what I think about that. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in here. This room gets gorgeous natural light in the morning and the afternoon, but by the evening, the sun is just not over here. I also got two wearable breast pumps. These are from mom, I just hit myself in the face. These are from Mom Cozy. These are definitely not the highest end ones that you can get in terms of portable wearable breast pumps, but I already have a pump that I'm using through my insurance. It's just the Spectra one that's supposed to be pretty good, but I like the idea of being able to pump on the go. These had the best review for the price point that I could find because they're not quite as expensive and they were on sale during Prime. I don't think they're on sale now, but I will let you guys know what I think about those too. This one is exciting, but I think I'm gonna wait to open this one because I might do some sort of like reel or something with it. But I got my diaper bag from Dagny Dover. I actually have one of their backpacks and I discovered that they have really cute diaper bags too. And so I think I'm gonna wait to open this. It's really cute and it looks super comfortable and 
felt like it was a decent price point. So we'll wait on that one. Sorry, I forgot that this one was in the front, but this is a package from Pottery Barn Kids. It is a little arm for our mobile that we're gonna put on. Is it mobile or is it mobile? I was trying to find one that was just on Amazon, but I couldn't find a white one and our crib is white and natural and I didn't want the woods to be different. And so this one is just a white one. I'm trying to avoid drilling anything in the ceiling just because we are renting. I don't wanna do anything crazy. We can't drill holes in the walls and everything and we can paint which is nice. Obviously when we leave, I don't wanna have a ton, a ton of stuff to do. But yeah, I really wanna to try to do this room mostly in August when we get back and then also through September. I don't imagine that this is what I'm gonna look like when I'm using these. It's probably gonna be a little bit more stressful than that. <laughs> Thankfully, it fits perfectly. It is definitely right on the edge. I probably should have measured because there is this divider here. And then this is where we'll put all the kind of changing supplies and everything. But thankfully it fits perfectly. And I love that it's just so minimal and sleek. I know it's a small thing, but I really like it, it looks good. And then for the guest room, the only things that I did in here were just added that plan up there. And then I also put another painting that we have up there, but I definitely want to fill the rest of it with something, probably some books I think would look nice. Just other little decor pieces. There's not a ton of space up there. And like I said, I don't know how that plant's going to fare up there because there really isn't sunlight going up there. But if it doesn't survive there, I will move it and then probably just get a fake plant. And then over here, we just moved this little chair here. We still need to hang this up either on this wall or above the bed. I would like to do above the bed, but it still just makes me nervous hanging something above the bed where people sleep. But I think that this chair over here looks nice. We honestly just needed a place for it. I think that this room looks nice and cozy. Just did some laundry. I'm trying to get in the habit of doing laundry more frequently because I know when the baby comes, I'm gonna be doing so much more laundry and it is my least favorite chore. Thankfully, Aiden honestly does probably 80% of our laundry. I'll just fold it every now and then. He's typically the one who washes like our clothes because he just goes through clothes faster. We have some stuff hanging. I need to find a better system for air drying my stuff. Right now I just have it there, but I guess I could just put it outside somewhere too. But it's about 7.15, I'm gonna start making some dinner. I'm gonna do a chicken fajita skillet casserole. I've done this recipe before once. It's from Jar of Lemons. I'll have it linked down below. It's really, really delicious and super filling too. So I think we're gonna make that, sounds good. And then I'm probably just gonna chill on the couch. I'm ready just to sit for a little bit, even though I know I did that <laughs> earlier. Like I mentioned, next week is gonna be pretty busy. So definitely gonna get some rest in today. Slowly as his mind lost more every day Quietly she walked beside and tended in her way Now the bed he built her to his goal But her memories have stayed Because some things last forever our night took a little bit of a chaotic turn because we totally forgot that Aiden has a DMV appointment tomorrow to renew his license and that requires printing out a lot of stuff. It's early in the morning, so you can't print it out before. So he's actually at Walmart right now trying to find a printer so we can print everything tonight. But I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight now because we're just gonna be doing that for the rest of the night, which is totally not a problem. I'm glad we remembered it tonight, not tomorrow morning. I hope you guys enjoyed putting the home together with me this weekend. It looks so great. It was definitely a productive yet very fun weekend. So again, if you guys want to check out Castlery, I'll have them down below too. You can check out all of those pieces that I mentioned earlier and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends. Beloved, never